What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a few days now. Uh, the last video I posted was about rest mode and let me tell you guys, I've been enjoying rest mode really well. It's been about 11 days I have been going in and out of my PS4, playing games and putting back in rest mode. It's been working phenomenal. So this particular video guys, I'm gonna show you a quick little tip. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know this and this video is just for people who don't know about it. In case you have a lot of games and you wanna install them all together, this is a quick video on how to go ahead and install multiple packages in the background while you can be gaming at the same time so you don't have to sit and stare at this ugly screen of the package just installing guys i mean we all hate that we, we hate waiting for a long time so if you didn't know about this particular thing so guys this is for you just a quick tip for you guys on how to go ahead and install multiple things all right guys so let's get right into it so the requirement is just one particular homebrew app it's called ps4 explorer so guys thanks to lappy lappy is the one who developed this particular one it's called ps4 explorer this is where you go and download it from is ps4 explorer the latest one is 1.3.1 uh, however this is a beta release but it looks it looks like it's working perfectly fine for me it's been updated about eight days ago so all you gotta do guys you need to go ahead and download this package and you probably install it just the same way you would install a package or a game or a homebrew app it's all the same just put the package in the root of the pen drive or usb device that you're using on the ps4 and then you install it like you usually would so guys go ahead and click on this you should be able to download the particular package that's the one and once you get the package guys you'll be able to go ahead and install it once you install it i'm going to show you the rest of it on the ps4 so let's go there all right so once you have it installed and you should be able to see that in the home screen let's scroll all to the left and there it is guys go and launch that up ps4 explorer by lappy and apparently he's cuban so he has a cuban flag over there but so you have these many different uh, language options to choose from. So I'm gonna go choose English. And guys, this is where it is. It looks pretty simple and very neat. And this is basically your PS4's internal hard drive. And so I would suggest not to do anything with that. If you hit the options button, you can see options for instructions on the right bottom corner. And guys, all your options are right over here. So you have a very neat diagram to show you, uh, you know, where, what button does what. Uh, let's not confuse yourself too much. What we're looking at is to access the USB drive. So as you can see, the left points the USB 0 and the right points the USB 1. So this is USB 1 when I hit the right and I hit left. And this is my USB uh, 0, the one that's actually plugged in. So the two USB ports, this is USB 0 and this is my external hard drive that's actually connected to the PS4 right now. So I'm going to scroll down, look up the options again. And so you can just go ahead and choose all the different things you can do with it and get, there's a lot of different things in fact i think i should cover an entire video just about all the things that ps4 explorer can do so i'm going to hit circle go all the way back so this is your internal drive hit the right arrow to hit to the usb1 then hit the left arrow to go to usb0 so guys this is where we are right now and as simple as that you're now accessing your external hard drive okay so heading back to the main usb thing over here so i'm going to go ahead and install a package uh, i do have most of the games already here so i think i'm going to install last of us package right here so this one here so you hit x it's going to open up this information over here all about the package file and if you hit x again is when it starts installing it so i'm going to hit x and as you can see add it to downloads on the top left corner so now it should be downloading at the moment i'm trying to look at what other game i can actually install at the moment because i do have them already installed uh, for example, let's try Mafia 3. I already have it installed. So guys, if you already have it installed, it's going to delete the game and then reinstall it. So be careful about it. Uh, I'm going to hit X again. I'm going to show this to you in demonstration. So if you go here, Last of Us being installed here, and I already have Mafia 3. But it just disappeared because it just deleted it. And now add it to downloads Mafia 3. So if you have some games that you're playing and you have the game saves you all the way in the game and then you mistakenly hit the same game, you're going to have an issue. So be very careful about it. So as you can see, Mafia 3 is being uh, on the point of downloading. So once it starts the download, you should be able to see that in the home screen. And there you go, guys. Mafia 3 is on the home screen right now and also The Last of Us 2. So these are the games I have here. I'm going to delete Grand Theft Auto just to show you another example. As you can see, Last of Us is working. Um, let me see if I have the package here. Yes, I have Grand Theft Auto 5 right here. So I'm going to actually go and delete it myself. So let's go here and delete it. Okay. Grand Theft Auto 5 is deleted. So I'm going to jump back into the PS4 Explorer and there we have GTA 5 right over here. So I'm going to hit X. And then X again to install the package. 
And there we go, add it to downloads, Grand Theft Auto 5. It should take like a few seconds for it to pop up on the home screen to say it's downloading it. So another thing guys, uh, the PS4 Explorer is not independent for it to work for the games to be installing in the background. So you can close the app and it'll still be installing in the background. So I'm gonna close PS4 Explorer as you can see here. And there you go, the PS4 Explorer is closed, but it still is continuing to download, so you don't have to worry about that, as you can see right here. And I'm also gonna try and test the rest mode out while this is going through. So I'm gonna jump into rest mode to see if it actually works in rest mode. So let's head on there and let's try it out. All right guys, so I'm just coming out of a rest mode right now, and as I could see, uh, the hard drive does not, uh, it was not blinking during the rest mode. So obviously it was not working here. So once I sign back in, there you go guys, it has not been installing it. It was just stuck or says the hard drive was not connected. So all you have to do is just click X on it and then it's gonna continue for off from where it left off. So that's a good thing. So you don't actually have to restart it or start again from the beginning. So there you go guys, you can actually go ahead and install it in the background. And just to show you that you can actually do whatever you want while it's being installed using your PS4 as per your wish. I'm gonna fire up a game. Let's start up Marvel's Avenger for example. So there you go guys, when you're actually gaming and smashing the floor and throwing in random hi-fis to basically nothing. And then when you go back to the home screen, you can see the game was still downloading at the same time, and it still is. All right guys, so that's how that's about it. That's how you go ahead and install games in the background while you can game at the same time using PS4 Explorer and you'll be able to enjoy gaming while installing multiple packages. I know this is not gonna be something that's gonna be very frequent or if you have lots of games to install at the same time. But however, every single time you wanna install a game which is about 40 gigs or 80 gigs, 100 gigs too, you can actually use this method. So you can go ahead and install it in the background while you can still be gaming. And once the game is cut down, installing you can continue gaming or checking out the new game all right guys so that's about it for this particular video if you like this video go and drop it a like drop it a subscribe so drop me a comment guys let me know if you already knew about this particular method is it something that you're actively using or if you're actually new to this and how is rest mode working out for you being in whatever firmware you are with gold hen and let me know which video you'd like to cover next all right guys i hope you're having a great time gaming i hope you have a great weekend ahead and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers guys Bye bye